You were from Clear Lake wants to talk about uh, uh, legalizing recreational uh, marijuana and wonders whether or not that's, there's going to be any action on this and also about possibly making the medical marijuana uh, system a little more uh, accessible. Senator Simonson? I don't think that there's going to be any action on it this year. I think this is, in all seriousness, this is one of those issues that's going to take some time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm personally not there yet. I have a lot of unanswered questions about the impacts of full legalization. Uh, it took me a while to get uh, actually to the to the medical or the medical version of marijuana. It took me a while to get there, um, and I'm there now. I, I ended up supporting that, uh, and I'm open to increase you know increasing some of those those opportunities because we now have data that shows that it works for certain people. Uh, and I think the way that we set it up, you know, some may think it's a little bit too restrictive, but it's working. Um, and uh, I think in terms of full legalization, it's going to take some time. There are a lot of unanswered questions. And until we get to the point where we can actually start having open hearings and, and getting some testimony and, and understanding how this is actually going to work, it's, we're not there. Senator Osmond, recreational marijuana and medical marijuana. And I'm pretty much a firm no on, re on a recreational. I think we're seeing in other states what was thought of as a panacea, something that was harmless, that was just... You know, everybody was doing it. Now they're finding they're having more and more problems. They're having mental health cases. There's there's significant issues, and I firmly believe uh, marijuana is a gateway drug, or commonly called a gateway drug. Uh, so I'm I'm a no, and I, I I agree. I don't think it's in the cards, certainly for this session. I was one of the first, one of the few represent or the for a few senators when we passed medicinal marijuana that was very supportive of it for this reason. I work in the medical industry. We already have opioids. We always have already have a number of drugs that are derivatives that can be illegal. Um, these drugs are important in helping manage pain, um, and for some cases, these are the only things that may work for for uh, patients under chemotherapy. I have somebody that works for me that's now going to be under chemotherapy, um, but you have to restrict it to diagnosis the diagnosis codes of people who actually have the right illnesses. We can't let this genie out of the box and just go willy-nilly. It needs to be for certain medic for certain conditions. It does make sense. But if you have a hangnail, we don't want to be prescribing medicinal marijuana. It doesn't make any sense because that's not what it should be used for. So I'm fine with expanding it, but it needs to be based upon scientific evidence, based on the, the diagnosis codes of the, of the individuals to make sure we're giving it to the right people for the right reasons. As long as that's the case, I say go right ahead because uh, people need these types of things, not just to manage pain, but also be able to frankly live at some points in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some indication that uh, uh, youngsters with seizure disorders may benefit from mm -hmm. some application of medical marijuana. So, But the science is still developing in these areas. So.